What's up, navigation traders? In this video, I wanna teach you how to roll a straddle from one expiration cycle to the next. Now, this is a little bit different than doing it on a stock or an ETF because we are trading a options on futures position. And in this case, it's forward slash ZN, which is the notes. And so we've got a couple different positions on here. You can see we've got a strangle that's still very centered got a little bit of profit not looking to book that yet but that's out in may and may cycle at the time of this recording has 45 days to expiration so we're not doing anything with that piece of the trade the piece i want to focus on right now is the one that's in the april cycle which currently has just 17 days to expiration and you can see it is a straddle now this was originally a strangle the price of ZN has just been moving down, down, down. So it breached our downside break even. So our first adjustment was to roll the calls down. We always roll the untested side down, collect more credit. This doesn't require any additional buying power to do. And so now we're at a point where we've got the 121 half straddle. Both of the strikes are sold at the 121 and a half. So what we like to do with these naked positions, with these straddles and strangles or naked positions, is once we get to a point where we have under 21 days to expiration, in this case we're at 17, what happens is the gamma or the risk really starts to accelerate. And so you don't get as much bang for your buck if you stay in the trade in those last few weeks leading up to earnings. So what we like to do is we, if we want to still be in this position, we want to roll this from the current expiration cycle, which in this case has 17 days to expiration, and we want to roll that out to the next expiration, which, as I mentioned in May, is 45 days, which is right in our wheelhouse. If we were going to enter a new trade, that's where we'd want to be, kind of in that 30 to 60 days, 45 days is perfect. Now, the other thing to look at is in this decision-making process is what's the implied volatility level? Now, remember, on some of these futures, you have to use a corresponding ETF to measure the implied volatility. In this case, the corresponding ETF for the, uh, for the notes and the bonds is TLT. So if we take a look at a chart of TLT and we reference our navigation trading implied volatility indicator, what you'll see is that the IV percentile is at 84 and IV rank is at 40. So really decent, high implied volatility, meaning the price of the options is elevated compared to itself over the last 12 months. And so this is a time where if we didn't already have this position on, this would be an ideal candidate to sell premium on anyway. So that plays into our decision making whether we want to close this trade out in ZN, and if I get back to the Analyze tab, you can see that we've got a little bit of profit on this. However, with implied volatility as high as it is, I wanna stay in, in this symbol anyway, so in this case, I'm going to roll instead of just simply closing out the position. So let me show you how to do that. It's a little bit tricky with, with options on futures, a little bit different, I shouldn't say tricky, it's a little bit different than uh, if you're trading on a stock or an ETF, because you can't, with, within the Thinkorswim platform, you can't just do the roll in one transaction. You actually have to close out your current position and re-enter it in the next cycle. So let's go ahead and do that. If we just highlight the position we're talking about, right-click, create closing order. So we're simply gonna buy this straddle back. Should get filled at 137. Hit confirm and send and we got filled at 137. Okay, so now we're, now we're out of that position in April. So now what we need to do is we need to go into the May cycle and we're not gonna change the strikes. We're gonna keep the strikes exactly the same, the 121 and a half. So we simply right click, sell, straddle. So we're gonna resell the exact same straddle, just extending duration, giving ourselves more time to make money. So that's trading it at 158. So you can see we, we sold the other one for, what did I say? Excuse me, we bought the other one for $1.37. We're selling this for $1.59. So we're picking up an additional credit of over 20 cents. So we're, we're not only 
uh, adding more credit, but we are uh, extending our duration, picking up more credit, giving ourselves more time to make money on the trade. So let's try to get filled at 158, hit confirm and send, and we got filled. So if we go back to the analyze tab and take a look at what the trade looks like now, let's click off that one and just click on the 121 and a half. So you can see the diagram looks very similar, except we've got a little bit more room to the downside. Our P&L line isn't quite as steep. It's a little bit more flat, but we're still looking for that a little bit of an up movement to benefit this trade. Going back to the chart, you know, we've had this huge down movement. So if we if we can simply get a little bit of a pop higher, that's going to that's going to give us, you know, several hundred dollars in profit and we and then we can take the trade off at that time. So that's how you roll a straddle with options on futures. Hope that was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about how we've taught over 10,000 members how to trade options for consistent income, just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, click on the big orange button, and we'll give you immediate access to our flagship course, Trading Options for Income. We'll also give you the Navigation Trading Implied Volatility Indicator that you see on our charts along with the watch list that we use to trade the most profitable symbols day in and day out. All this is yours, no cost. Just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.